Hey, what is going on, guys? I am the Explosive Gamer. Welcome back to Chatting with Explosive number two. So I'm sticking with the static image um, in the background instead of gameplay. Less, lesser rendering time, less smaller file size, uploaded faster. It gives me availability to do longer videos. It, it just makes it all easier for me. So I'm going to be doing that, recording everything with Audacity. Uh, Audacity I use because I know some people who do podcasts. I know Lefty, who I watch the Lefty show a lot, um, he does with his pod, uh, singular podcast thing. Kind of what I'm trying to do is, uh, which he does is he uses OBS, has that set up and everything. Has a, like has the static image in OBS as like a background and then records his audio through that. I'm, I, I, I enjoy putting to editing my videos and I don't like OBS so that's I'm doing this now instead it just makes it it makes it more fun for me and it gives a slightly more customization not really but slightly more customization to what I'm doing um, but anyway moving on from that uh, I, I know a couple weeks ago or a week and actually um, week before last, uh, I did not upload almost anything. I uploaded one video. So in that week, the problem I had due to my idiocy was, um, the VWLP episode I was trying to render for Tuesday of that week wasn't working. So I gave up and was like, okay, fuck it. Um, after trying it in both Sony Vegas and Adobe Premiere, which I freshly got that day and then also reinstalled, Vegas and it didn't work so I'm like, okay fuck it I don't care uh they're broken I don't want to try anything else so I just left it and then the week it came back I was like okay fuck it I can't do it anymore anyway so I don't know what to do so from this I, I was like, okay uh, I'll try the rest of the episodes didn't work anyway recorded another 45 minute episode didn't work either so I'm like okay fuck it screw VWLP for now I'll do someone else um and moving on from that uh, and try and try to render other things and work perfectly fine. So then I'm okay. I'm gonna do my setup video now and edit it, re record it, edit it, and whatever, and render it. When I rendered it, same thing happened. So I'm like, okay, vlogs don't work, or vlog style videos for my camera don't work, and only VWLP doesn't work. Like, because when I re rendered MCSG number four, like my survival games number four, it worked fine, and from there on, it's been working. So I don't know what's up. And I don't, I don't know. It's weird. So I'm going to go with um, from this VWP, VWLP not working. I am going to just do a vanilla Minecraft because that worked. That worked before and I'm hoping hoping it's going to work now. So we're going to go on from that. Um, also, like I said, my uh, vlog style videos weren't working. So the uh, what, my setup tour isn't going to be coming for like my 25 subscriber setup tour won't be coming right at 25 subscribers. So anyway, due to my idiocy, I missed a week, which also dropped my viewership rate. Not a good thing uh, when you're on YouTube. But if you guys do YouTube videos, you'll understand that it's not a good thing. And I've done this sort of thing before on other channels where I cared less though, so it didn't really bother me. But here I'm trying to do the best I can, best work I can through what I'm doing, but on those channels, I didn't care, so okay, it's not working, whatever, fuck it, I'll, whatever, and went months without uploading, then uploading videos regularly, and then stopped again, and on and on and on, and this happens so many times, I've seen people do it, um, I, someone who, I don't know if it's for the same reasons I'm not editing, but through, like, uh, recording whatever, and just uploading frequently and people get used to you uploading frequently and then stopping suddenly no warning or nothing just stopping that one it makes everyone go confused and fucked and whatever and go what the fuck where whatever and after after that when you come back you'll have such lower viewership rates someone who does this and doesn't give a fuck and also doesn't really lose much as far as i know is hutch he does this where he uploads 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 whatever he grows his like he uh, he goes and whatever and then drops and does nothing and just and I don't I don't know why if there's a like a, a actual reason aside from just not doing anything behind it please tell me I I have no clue but it, it he just stops and then from that whatever um and he when he gets back up everyone's like oh my god Hutch is back yay and they and he actually I think gets more views after he comes back after doing that drop. 
if say if I drop and I have twenty five seven subscribers like as I did from that, and I drop majority of the time if you're a smaller YouTuber, you, all your subscribers either go dead, which I'm afraid happened, or your subscriber or they you lose viewership and lose subscribers in any way. So I, it's not a really a great idea for you to go on and do that. If you're a smaller YouTuber, when you're a bigger YouTuber and you have millions of subscribers or th hundreds of thousands of subscribers, you'll be fine, whatever, you know. Most of the time, you'll be fine, and there'll be people who don't unsubscribe for you. Then if they see your video, they're like, oh, my God, he's back. I'm going to watch his video. But now, it's, if there's me, I don't – I'm I'm maybe wrong, but I'm pretty sure I don't have people like that where if every single video I post, they watch and watch and watch religiously – I do not have the confidence in myself right now. If I, I may be wrong, I don't know. I'm not in the brains of all my subscribers. But I, I'm pretty sure that none of my subscribers religiously watch my videos and mainly my videos are and are my biggest fan. Um, I'm not big enough to do have that right now as far as I know. If, if I, I know I could be wrong. Anyway, moving on from that, uh, I have a new channel banner. Um, this channel banner is just kind of lame, I gotta say. But it, it, it's... It's punny. Um, so, as you know, my name's Explosive. On you, my YouTube name's Explosive or the Explosive Gamer or whatever. So on my thing, it says my like my name Explosive. Then there's a like a line, and then under the line, in like more like Minecraft text, sort of, it says a ex explosive amount, an explosive amount of gaming content in one place. Which I am also trying to do is expand my more into more gaming content, as in like. Instead of just playing Call of Duty Battlefield Minecraft, I'm doing Call of Duty Battlefield Minecraft Warface, which I'm starting, or have started. I'm playing World of um, Call of Duty Custom Maps. I'm doing, oh, what's another game? I'm doing Let's Plays on Transformers. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing Let's Plays, like, around the whatever, and then I'm doing also Transformers, Rise of the Dark Spark videos. I'm, hopefully, we'll be doing Destiny videos when it comes out, and other games as well in the future that I... That I most people wouldn't normally do, like Transformers Universe. I would love to do that, or Firefall, which I played on my other channel, but my previous channel, and it was enjoyed more because one, I I really do like MMORPGs, um, which are like are a very fun game, and you get really sucked into them. Um, so what Firefall is, which I played it before, and that'll also be in the news section of the show, which I want to kind or, or the video, which I want to kind of bring into this as a news section, mostly gaming, but sometimes other things. Um, it, it's uh, it uh, it's like an MMORPG with shooter aspects where you can be in either in first person with your gun or third person also with your gun and you're shooting and whatever. It's really cool. I'll explain more in, the, in the, what I'm talking about it later, but. Um, well, I'm trying to expand my channel out from just the basic things that everybody does. I know lots of people still do MMORPG videos and things, but I'm trying to expand into lots of different free-to-play games, lots of different um, maybe paid-for games like that are just random and weird, uh, and and expanding to random games that like aren't maybe maybe popular games, maybe unpopular games, different. And through Minecraft, I'm trying to do different. Uh, mini games and all that stuff, and uh, it, it's try. I'm trying to expand more on what I'm doing. Uh, I'm trying to do stuff like this, which is more of a podcast style video, which I do enjoy listening to podcasts all the time. So I'm thinking, you know, podcasts they don't seem that hard, and I've done a couple. Which the the hard part is is getting people to watch your videos for longer and longer, because most people watch videos. The average viewership rate um, for most people, I'm pretty sure, is like between uh, two minutes and five minutes with podcasts or longer minecraft videos all together which are, are normally between 10 and an hour like it, it can be a huge scale of of um length that most people don't watch and through this i'm trying i'm maybe trying to expand to longer videos to see other i'm, I'm trying pushing myself pushing the limits of myself to because i'm risking not getting a lot of views or not getting long, like we're, we're, I'm not, I'm, I'm risk, I'm putting out the risk of me of people only watching the part, like a small part of my content, even though I put so much work into the entire thing. So anyway, going into the new section now, after ten minutes of rambling about random shit. Um, okay, going to the news. The Destiny beta it has been released on the 17th of July. 
So, great. I haven't pre-ordered the game, so I can't play it. This may change. This may or may not change in the coming week. But I'm hoping I can get into the beta. I don't know how long it is. Uh, looking at the website here, uh, it, it just says began or begins July 17th. And I cannot see anything about where it ends or when it ends. Beta begins on the, on PS4, systems, PS3, systems, soon after Xbox and 360. It, it, it's nothing. It just starts earlier on PS3 and PS4. Beta date subject to change. Limited time only. Will beta codes last? Yeah, pre-order now. Anyway, I don't know. I am cold. Why the fuck am I cold? Is there a window? I don't know. Anyway, I'm getting cold. Um... Also, the Transformers Universe beta is has been open beta has been out for a while. I've been playing it. I love the game, but so I can play the game at around 50 frames per second, uh, between 30 and 50 frames per second. But as soon as I start, re start recording, it drops way down to five frames per second. I don't know why. I try. I tried DX Story, which is my main one. I tried Fraps, which is I, I like better now, so I'm getting rid of DX Story. But I'll, and I'm using fraps and now and and then I tried and that didn't work. So then I tried OBS. That was even worse. I don't know why, but things aren't working. I would really like to know why these things are happening. But the game is fun. I I do it. I do tell. I will tell you the game is really freaking fun. And if you want somewhere to go to go watch it before I uh, before I can record it, go to either Next Gen Tactics. They play it and they're really good. Uh, they, there's a few people who, uh, I think it's Spider, Suli, and someone else that play it there. And then also go to So Mungry, who is pretty much religiously uploading that right now. Um, please go check, go check out those two to go wa see what this game's about. Or go to the uh, look up on, on Google, Transformers Universe, will come up to the thing. Look it up and go through it and, and play the game. Sign up for the beta and play the game. It is really fun. I do recommend you play it and I will be playing it still. Um, no matter what, I, even though I'm having these problems, I don't know why I'm having these problems. I'd like to know why was like, I can play it between 30 and 50 frames per second, sometimes dipping to 20 frames per second. If, uh, if it's a graph, if it's a pushing area of the map uh, that have lots of different things, but I don't know why I, I go between from, t okay, let's say 20 to 50 frames per second, dropping to f between 10 zero in 10 frames per second i don't know why this is happening i would like to know why this is happening please someone tell me because my my computer is a air quotations gaming pc built for gaming but even though most games that i play are not working because i need to get a better cpu plus it's a micro atx so or itx I don't remember anyway, but I have I have a AMD APU. I have Kingston Hyper RAM. Like it's eight gigabytes of it. The RAM's fine. I don't. I have no problems with RAM. It's the CPU just always hits. Is at idle when it's idling is at twenty percent. When it's playing games is between fifty and ninety percent. I don't know why this is happening. I need to get a new CPU, obviously, but. Um, if, if you guys are more even more computer uh, inclined than I am, because I know there's a lot of people out there um, that are probably a lot more relatively knowing of computers, please tell me why this is happening uh, in, uh, with my AP or AP or CPU or whatever. I need to get a better one, I know. I need an AMD one because I have an AMD motherboard, and to get new motherboard, it just... I kind of want to build a completely new computer, but that takes a lot of money, and that's money I do not have. So moving into the future, I maybe like in the future when Transformers Universe is fully released as a free-to-play game, is in is regularly updating and whatever, not just a beta. I will probably be able to play it and record it. But in a beta phase is the best time to uh, upload videos. If you know, if you're a YouTuber, you know, uploading beta videos and exclusive videos that are not everywhere. I know like Transformers Universe is, is a, is relatively known on um, through tr people who like Transformers as in so mongery, who is a Transformers YouTuber pretty much, or 
next gen tactics who plays any game they can possibly find so those are the two biggest people i know playing it there are probably a lot more but um i know because it's an open beta what i want to do is get into closed betas i like getting into closed betas where they allow me to upload stuff to youtube because then there's less people playing them and less people recording and uploading them because through that like wildstar when Wildstar was out, I played that on my old channel, and it was, like, thoroughly enjoyed. And aside from my music um, copyright I got, because I put in the wrong music file, that happens. I do that sometimes. I slip up. But it, it, it's, a, it's a fun, like, there's fun things to do. And through that, um, when I get to playing Firefall, when that game comes out, when it's it's released on the 29th of, Je of July, which I am whoo, excited to play. I will so be playing that on this channel for sure, um, probably over whatever else at the time, because there's really nothing to, for me to play right now. Itchy ear, itchy ear, itchy ear. Fixing my headphones. Anyway, but yeah, there's really nothing else for me to play right now um, on the channel, aside from random free-to-play games, because Warface I uploaded on Friday, was it? I think. Anyway, I uploaded on Friday, and it that game's amazing. I love that game. It's really fun. I, only have, I already have two more backups and stuff, like two more episodes in story where I suck horribly and my team sucks horribly, but whatever. Who cares? It's still fun to play. And um, the fourth one will be me sniping. I haven't recorded it yet, but and then from from on in there, it's whatever. You know, things happen. But um, anyway, with Firefall. Uh, this game is really cool because I, I played it on my old channel. Uh, you can probably go check it out if the, the video, all the video is still up there. Go to my, go to the Explosive Gamer 100, look it up on YouTube or even Google. I think you can find it, but you can find some of my videos and then go into there and like look through my videos and try to find Firefall. You will for sure find what, something there, one of my Firefall videos there. And I really, really did enjoy it. I don't remember how much I uploaded on that channel specifically, but I know I had some gameplay up there. I'm actually going to go look it up right now. Uh, but, you know, it was a really fun game. And I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed playing it. And I do recommend it for you guys when the game is out. Um, actually, when I saw this, I got an email from Twitch, oddly enough, saying Firefall and Destiny were the new streaming things. Because, and then it said, uh, Firefall, get on Steam now. I was like, oh, it's out now. It, it's like, it's is it still in beta mode? or Because I played in the closed beta, and I played in the open beta. The open beta went on for nearly six, seven months. I don't know what that means. Like, it, it, But now that it's out, and it's been it's been dead in the water, I, I swear, for like six months now. Or almost a year, I think. Because I haven't been playing it, so I wasn't really keeping up with it. I did lots of live streams on it, I gotta say. If you go to my live stream page, there's a lot of live streams there for you to go check out uh, if they're still saved in the VOD section. Um, but anyway... Nope, that was... Okay, there, I, I think I... Yeah, okay. But yeah, Firefall is, is thoroughly enjoyable, and I do recommend you guys to go check it out. Um, it's a very fun game, and on the 29th, I'm going to be playing it, um, I'm, I'm going to see, see, I probably can't get it early, there's no way I can get it early, it's an internet game, I could probably ask the developers, but, I don't know, the developers, I'm not a very big, one, I'm not a big YouTuber, which would really help me out getting games early, two, I am not a, um, I don't know the developers, I haven't been playing that game for like six months, so, um, that's a problem. Uh, it, you know, I, I bet you if I, I've been playing the game, the whole closed beta, the whole open beta, and been uploading videos currently and religiously pretty much on my channel through that and did not start a new channel on this one despite my dead subscribers on the old one. Um, if I did that, this would probably end up better. Like, I could, I maybe could maybe ask them. Like, I probably would have been in contact with them a couple times. But I could have asked... Damn screaming baby in the background, my brother. Fuck. Anyway, uh, I probably I might have been able to ask them, but I probably would. I, even then, I wouldn't be able to. I still didn't have enough subscribers or views in the first place to be able to do that. So, I'm hoping in the future to be able to get games early and bring to you guys. But um, anyway, Firefall. 
as soon as it comes out, because on the 29th, I'm not busy. I'm not doing anything. I'm probably sitting and doing nothing. I'm going to reserve that day to sit and record videos all day on that. Like my first um, impression, I'll do my, you know, creating my character and doing all that stuff. Then I'll do and, uh, and record part of a tutorial, doing a fire, like um, through the tutorial and then do firefall videos like like live, Firefall Live things, kind of like I did with uh, Final Fantasy of Realm Reborn on the old channel. Um, but it's... I don't know how to phrase this. Uh, and it will be a thing. It's kind of like how people, when a new Call of Duty, a new Battlefield comes out, people religiously play the game and whatever and upload videos all over the place. I know Unknown will be doing that with Hardline, or I'm pretty sure he will. He said that on um, that Hardline should not be worth $70 because I even agree with that. And I'm not a big... Um, Battlefield player because all it is is Battlefield for, with no problems and in, in a cop and robber cops and robber setting, but it's it honestly is and with a better campaign it's 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 the first Battlefield that I'm think is supposed to have a good campaign, I don't know but unknown will be doing that so I think well I'm I'm hopeful hoping that he'll be doing that stuff so I know what the fuck to expect when I get the game, anyway so that got the PS3 fell somewhere outside so that was why. Um, now I lost my train of thought. That was why I paused there, and that was all the background noise that I was hearing. The PS3 fell off a table, and then a bowl of cereal was on the table, and then the bowl of cereal kind of fell around the PS3, so some milk splashed on it. Then my brother started swearing. My mom started swearing because my brother was swearing, and then my baby brother was just weird and started screaming because everyone else was screaming. It was just a chain reaction of screaming. So, anyway... Uh, yeah, but Firefall, great game. I'm going to play it, like I said, uh, religiously for about day to – from one day to a week of time. I'm, gonna be, I'm just going to religiously play it. And then from that, I'm going to make a ton of videos, and uh, they're going to be uploaded all over my channel. The schedule of my channel will be kind of cut in half and kind of discarded for the for the time being aside from this show if i keep going on with it man i am cold i have no clue why i paused the recording and everything and it, it and i left my room and then i walked back into my room it was fine but then i start recording and then i'm fucking freezing i don't even know why anyway moving on to some channel updates um I'll be doing some like some trans some more Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark videos. Rise of the Dark Spark is a odd game. I know I have to do. I'm finishing the Let's Play and everything. I've only already recorded uh, three chapters of it, and I actually I recorded five chapters of it, but then the two uh, the the other two chapters four and five, uh, the recordings of those were broken, in some way. Like the the video was weird and the audio didn't record. So I went back and replayed it. It's not that bad. It, whatever, I was fine. My reactions were slightly different on 3 because I had to replay that one too. But it, it, it'll be fine. Um, that Let's Play... To be honest, out of all the Transformers games that I've played, this one is the oddest but most... Ex um, what, what's, the, what's the word? Um, in, not intense. Uh, immersive. To me, like it's to me, it's immersive, and you can get to, and the the character build is different. And the best thing about this, let me find the game case. It's in this drawer. It's made by an entirely new developer from all the other Transformers games. What's the name of it? Uh, I don't, I don't know the name of the the company that makes it. I think it's Havoc, but they made. They, I th actually think that Havoc is a producer and uh, one of the help like that helped helped make the game I, I don't know i don't know who actually makes it but it's a new developer it's not high moon studios who normally makes all the transformers games aside from transformers universe which is made by jakex who is a new uh british indie developer kind of thing i think i don't know i don't really know who jakex is, what jakex is but yeah but transformers universe is a or not universe uh Rise of the Dark Spark is an, a new developer, and and the through this they used uh, the character models from Transformers: Fall of Cybertron, and then they also made the the Earth the Earth model the Earth character models. They like custom made those ones, but the all the Cybertronian ones they say in, in the game, all of those 
are are ported or whatever from uh, War for Cyber. I mean, Fall of Cybertron, which was a High Moon Studios game, and they just reuse the gun, the looks of the guns, and the looks of the Cybertronian bots, and that's and they just went th- f- through that. Also, some of the um, uh, not, I don't know what to call them the um, the CPUs that uh, in the game, some of them. Uh, I don't. I don't know if you'd call them CPUs, but they got the people you fight in Escalation. Um, so those are all supported from other games and uh, from all other Hyman Studios games. And then the Earth, the Earth versions of them are ported from. Uh, f- um, damn it! What's the name of the game? Uh, what's the name of that movie? I can't remember the name of the movie. Dark of the Moon. They're they're ported from Dark of the Moon and uh revenge of the fallen games they're ported from them too so it's it, they're all just most of, most of the game is from ports and most of the maps are even ports from uh the older games um not not the movie games but the two the the war and fall for cyber fall of cybertron um games the all the escalation maps that are cybertronian ish ones they're all ports from that those games and then the two Earth ones are, are made by the developers here. Uh, it was a slightly lazy game, but they also probably had... I think they had a shorter time frame of only like six months. So I guess that's probably why it took a lot. They didn't... They didn't. They ported most of the stuff. So I, un- I understand Like if I had, say, uh, six days to do a something uh, of some... Proportionate to that of a school project... Uh, it's like a small little school project thing. I may or may not use stuff that I've used before. Um, and not like, uh, get not copyright. Um, play not plagiarize stuff, but like, um, use stuff that I've used before as kind of a base, and you and put some of that, and put my own work into my own work. I guess it's as a. I've done that in videos um, where I've had something before, and I'm okay. I'm gonna reimagine this, but use most of the same things. I've done it before. I'm probably going to do more in the future. I know for sure. But uh, things like that happen where you do stuff like they did in Rise of the Dark Spark. And you port from old things. But you do the wrong thing and you plagiarize or copyright or whatever. And then you can get in serious freaking trouble. Which I've never done. But and I'm hoping never to do um, in, at all. So anyway, moving on. Um it, like I said, with my VWLP thing after I canceled it, I am probably going to move on to uh, doing a vanilla, per se, like uh, quota- air quotations around vanilla. But I'm probably going to be doing a, um, maybe with like less, like small mods, kind of like a shade, not a shaders, maybe a shaders, I don't know. But like Optifine, I'm going to put in it, and I'm going to use texture packs, and I'm going to use things like the raised minimap and... Too many items, not too many items, uh, not enough items, things like that. Um, people are yelling in the background all the freaking time in my house. I cannot wait until I'm old enough to move out. Jesus, that is loud shit. Anyway, um, but I'm going to be moving on to stuff like that, that is the smaller mods. Um, Jesus. That is loud shit that's going on in the background. I don't know if you can hear it, but... God, like, the vibrations of my siblings going up the stairs is like... I can feel it. That's how loud they're stomping. And they're yelling and shit. They have... It, I'm not going to go on to rants about my family, but come on! God, that that's for another time. Um. Anyway, so I'll be going... I think I said this earlier, but I want to be playing more games on the channel. I did say this earlier through the banner thing. Voice crack. That was an amazing voice crack. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Firefall. Cannot wait for Firefall, man. Uh, I, <laughs> I keep going to that, but I'm, I'm honestly and truly saying I cannot wait for that game. Um, I enjoyed it so much when uh, it was in beta mode. And I think I played the hell out of that game uh, with a lot of different people. But if if any of you, it's a free to play game. It's a free to play game. I'm not paying for that because uh, um, the problem with most MMORPGs, I clap there and be heard. And I'm sorry. Jesus, my family is loud. I, I cannot. I cannot. I, I I. Oh my god. 
That's all I got to say to that is, oh, my God. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Anyway, but I play the shit at a Firefall with a lot of people, and it's free to play because I am... Damn it, now I'm getting... Okay, so with MMORPGs, most of them, if you pay for them, they also... Like, you pay 30 to $60 for the game. Then you have to pay $15 a month. So, in a long term, you want to play the game for a year, say. So, you're paying about $200, I think. $300 for the game. $250, I think. That's a lot of money. I, I would... That game is... I Say, I, okay, so World of Warcraft. That game is... I got I've got the game I got the, I played the 30 days trial thing and that uh, and as soon as I came out I'm okay I'm gonna pay that I'm gonna pay this, uh, the subscription for the year thing the $13 a month per se um so it's like $70 for the year which is a hell of a lot cheaper Jesus I don't even, I'm not, I'm just going to stay out of that. I, I, I either want to live in the fucking garage. God, they're loud. I'm hearing them from upstairs, which is, it's a split level house. And I'm hearing them from upstairs and through the bathroom. Because my baby brother, my baby, my brother's, my brother's room, their, like, their room is behind, like, to me, so it's my wall. And then the garage is like a little bit lower, and then above that is the bathroom, and then behind that, like past the bathroom, going like down the street, I guess would be a way to think of it, is their room. And th from there, I can hear them either through the wall or around the stairs and around curved in through my door, which is a paper thin door. Um, that is, I'm going on ranting about random shit. So, anyway, that's what you do in podcasts. Um. But I don't want to be ranting about my family yelling. That's not a thing I want to be. Anyway, but well, let's... I forgot to preload this. But let's go to a would you rather. Because to end off every show, we do a would you rather. And no one left me one before. So I'm not doing this one. Um, so it's, uh, I, I would never answer this. But would you rather be a vampire or a werewolf? I would obviously rather be a werewolf. It would be so much cooler to be a werewolf. If you're talking about, like, the Twilight Werewolf or Twilight Vampire, um, the vampire gets the girl, I'm pretty sure. I, I've never really watched Twilight, but or, I'd be a werewolf. They, they look better. <laughs> You'd probably get more chicks if you're the werewolf, but you're all muscular and you look amazing shirtless. Going to last one, last week's one, but you look amazing shirtless. I'd much rather be a Twilight Werewolf than a Twilight Vampire, because Twilight Vampires are just pale and scrawny, which I already am a vampire, technically, according to that. I just don't suck people's blood, and I'm not super strong. I, I'm scrawny and lanky, which is whatever, and I'm pale as shit, unless I'm, well, I'm tan now, because I spent a week at the cottage, which I spent majority of my time outside, but normally I'm pale as shit, so... I'm I'm already a technically Twilight vampire, but if I'm going for legit legitimate like actual stories of vampires and werewolves, I would still rather be a werewolf. I could be whatever I want as a werewolf and just like once a month, pretty much, I think. Yeah, four months have once a month. Yeah, once a month, be a freaking werewolf, and then howl at the fucking moon, kill some people, and then go back to my normal life. I wouldn't care. I'd rather be. I'd much rather be a werewolf. Anyway, go on to the next one if it will work. Anyway, refresh the page. I think that works. There. Would you rather be famous in this lifetime or go down in the history books? Huh. So if you're famous in this lifetime, technically you'll be known through the past. But like, cause there's people who were famous in the in the life in their lifetime, which are still pretty freaking famous. Like uh, Muhammad Ali is one of them. I, I'm just listing random people that were like past. Um, who else was very famous? George freaking Washington. He was famous, I'm pretty sure, at the time. And, um, and is down in the fucking history books. So, uh, I would rather be famous in this lifetime. But, I, I'm not a very big fan of attention, like, physical attention, where you're out, somewhere you're going places, and people are like, oh my god, look who it is. 
whatever because I I'm I'm hating that. But I I love getting attention to the internet, which is why I do YouTube, which is a lot easier because you don't need to like put up with it like physically and mentally, where people are swarming you and shit and taking pictures all the time. It's just a lot easier. So I'd I'd much rather be I actually I think I'd rather go down the history books. Um, I don't know what I'd be going down the history books for, because technically, when you go in the down in the history books, most people who want to get into the history books kill people, like fucking assassinate presidents and shit. Like the guy, um, Lee Harvey Oswald, who, who I think that's his name, who killed uh, John F. Kennedy and all that. So, huh, that's, that's a hard question. Because if I was famous in this lifetime, people would be, one, swarming me all over the fucking place. Two, I get a lot of fucking money, so that that that's a positive. I get I get lots of fucking money. I'd be in lots of film, like prop, depending on the on the famous that I'm talking about could probably be in fucking movies, TV shows. Uh, could do my own YouTube shit on, on the side. Um, I could do what else? What else does that famous people do? Radio shows. I could be on the radio. I could do it for your freaking musician. I could do. Um, I could get a lot of shit for free. I could also go to like red carpet events if I'm in the movie per se. Um, I could go to red carpet events. I could go to premieres. I can do all that shit. It'd be really freaking cool. I could be nominated for a freaking Oscar or a Grammy or all the, the movie award. I could be what all a Golden Globe. I think is something like that too. That'd be cool. But people who get on the history books get like Nobel prizes and shit. Um, so going on the history books, you wouldn't know it per se, unless there is such thing as this afterlife, whatever. And those of you who do believe in that, you know, that's good for you. I'm happy you believe in your own stuff. I'm not believing in the afterlife and the whatever. That's my choice. I do not believe in it. I mean, you may not, you may criticize me for this, but I do not believe in it. I am a atheist per se. Um... Because I do, so I technically I'm not I'm not a f fully legitimate atheist because I do Christmas and Easter and all that shit that happens that are te uh, technically um, both uh, from all religions I guess that that you c I could take hol I use for holidays because um, majority of atheists do but like people who say they're atheists anyway but people who are like full hardcore atheists do not do any fucking holidays unless they make up their own holidays so going off of that it, it's just a it's just weird shit when you say you're an atheist but anyway so i i how do i get to that off of would you rather be famous or history books Fa atheist talk i'd rather be famous uh you know what fuck it i'm gonna do I'm gonna do a third one last one um would you rather be the head chief of a luxury cruise liner or be the head chef chief of the white house or head chef my bad um head chef of the luxury cruise liner would mean you'd have to cook for between one and five thousand people i think or one in ten thousand I don't, I don't know exactly how many uh, modern cruise ships hold but um Say I was cooking for the Titanic, I'd probably die in the end. But, <laughs> but there was like a uh, fifteen hundred people, I think, on that, and that was a big thing at that time. So, uh, if uh, and for the White House, all you really cook for is the president, the first lady, uh, and then the kids and whatever. So I would much rather be the head chef for the White House, um, because for a luxury cruise liner, you have one, you have to cook luxury, freaking top notch five star or what eight star food or whatever that uh for five thousand freaking people or whatever fuck one i'm for me i'm a horrible cook um i can make can make amazing pancakes and amazing craft like a cheese um mac macaroni and cheese i'm amazing at that i'm it's fucking beautiful and, and, and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches i'm fucking amazing at that if you love lots of peanut butter but I cannot cook luxury or cook luxury food, um, but for the White House, pro I don't know. I'm assuming the president is may or may not be picky. So if he's not picky, I could just cook what the fuck I want, pretty much, or what he asked for, and he doesn't have to. Be, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it can be okay. It, it can be good. Good. It has. To, it has to be good. It can't be shitty. Like you know, like you make a fucking egg and it's still fucking you know old, goopy and disgusting like it's right fresh from the egg and just put it on the plate that 
that's gross. You shouldn't do that for anybody. Um, but, like, you know, if you make them an egg and the egg is cooked, maybe slightly um, crisp, uh, and then you give them bacon and whatever, and it's and it's the, the bacon's slightly crispy and he likes it kind of chewy, but it's like chewy... Tr- what what's a it's a I don't I can't I can't combine a word of chewy and crispy but it's both chewy and crispy um so it's not horrible whoa that was getting plugged anyway but it's 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 not bad but it's and it's okay so it's it, 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 you shouldn't make bad food for anyone like it, no you shouldn't go specific like i know there's probably a show out there where the people go uh around the world looking for the shittiest food they can find so they go to like egypt and go to a uh the ghetto tech like not like a legit you know holocaust ghetto but like what people proclaim as a ghetto today as like the low low end area go to their go to their market and buy old monkey. I don't know. I don't know what Egyptians eat per se. Like say, okay, Middle Eastern, let's go wide area and you go get like, you know, whatever food and you go to a low end so that you get like the shittiest beef you can find in the, sh- or whatever. You know what? You know what? Not even, they're not going to go to the Middle East or whatever. Let's go. Ah, uh, where's it? Where's a good spot to, uh, where's it? Detroit. Let's, you go to a supermarket in Detroit, and you go buy the shittiest. Oh no, let's okay restaurant here. Let's go to a restaurant um, in Detroit, and and the shittiest restaurant you can find, say a Denny's that is poorly rated and has a uh, warning uh, rats thing or whatever, whatever the health organization or whatever that that does that shit, and, and, and the health inspectors and they put up a foreclosed sign but you're, they're not fully foreclosed yet and you go walk into a denny's and then you go you order bacon eggs and some you know chicken strips i don't i don't know whatever the fuck you can order there um and you the chicken strips are still raw the bacon is overcooked like freaking hockey puck cooked um and then the the eggs are artifact they had they have the the eggs um what what are they uh cart carton egg cartoned eggs and they just they kind of like pour it onto a pan flip it once and then give it to you the shittiest shit you can find probably the shittiest of all shit you can find they pretty much serve you a lump of shit and uh that I would not do that I, like I I I would never serve anyone that because I kind of know what I'm doing, especially in cooking breakfast. I like I like making my own breakfast. I hate making my own anything else. Kind of lunch. I can make myself a peanut butter sandwich, like I said earlier. But I, I'm I'm good at breakfast. I'm pretty okay at lunch because I can make craft dinner. But then dinner comes around and I have to, you know, I can make spaghetti. I can make spaghetti or like a tuna casserole kind of thing. So I'd probably be the head chef for the White House. Hopefully not killing him because I'd... That probably put me in the history books for a bad reason. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like and share the video. It does help the channel grow. I am out. Don't forget to get to. Also, uh, in the comment section below, answer these three questions that I that I gave to you. Uh, answer those three questions and uh, answer them and tell me in the comment section below an answer to any one of the questions you pick. And I'll see you all later. Peace out.